Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've got the same setup that we've had for the past couple of videos, and we are looking at the last two sets for this little look back, which are the most recent Blast Ace and Exceed Apocalypse BT14 and BT15. And so let's just get right into it. So far, we've got some all right pulls. Uh, I did double check in between videos. Uh, with our last pulls, and yeah, we did not pull that big card, and we actually pulled a different version of another one of the cards that we hadn't before. Starting off, we got Ogremon for PT14, Triceramon, Fangmon, Dokugamon, Kokarimon, Pummelwhack, Otamamon again, Emissary of Hope. Bukamon. Uh, inherited effect. Your turn while your opponent has no Digimon with more Digivolution cards than this Digimon. This Digimon gains jamming. You know, I think Blue could pull this off really easily, so I like this Digi-Egg a lot. Marine Anjumon. Then we got Rosemon. Uh, I'm trying to see if that, like... Looks like there's some, like, damage at the top again. Weird. 11 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs, 11,000 DP. When Digivolving or when attacking, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Your turn, once per turn. When an effect suspends a Digimon or Tamer, you may unsuspend this Digimon. I like that. So, Digivolve, uh, suspend one of your opponents, and this one will get to unsuspend. Or, this one attacks, suspend, and then unsuspend. Pretty cool. And we got GK. Three play cost. Uh, main, by returning the top card of your security stack to the hand, you may place one yellow card with the vaccine trait from your hand to the bottom of your security stack. Your turn. When a card is added to your security stack by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. Security, play this card without paying the cost. This one's underwhelming. I'm, I'm not too concerned with it. It's, it's meh. We got the last of Blast Ace. Let's see what we can pull. I haven't checked how our um, ratios are, because normally in a box, like, we know what we get, but we'll look at that at the end. We got Goblimon. Shellmon. Ogremon, Chuchumon, Marine Devamon, one of my favorites. Six play costs, three Digivolution costs, 7,000 DP. On player when Digivolving, return all level three Digimon to the hand, no inherited effect. This one's meh, like, I like the dude, but unless you've got some way to combo with him, it's not great. Gotsumon. Panjamon, Ebimon, Shogun Gekumon, Tanemon, uh, Inherited Effect, your turn once per turn. When one of your effects suspends a Tamer, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. Again, very easy for green. This one could work. We got Platinum Numamon, 10 play costs, 3 Digivolution costs. 9,000 DP, can Digivolve from yellow or black, is dual color black-yellow. Digivolve from level 5 with Numamon or Monzemon is same for a cost of 3. On player, when Digivolving, by trashing one card with Numamon in its name in your hand, gain 2 memory. On deletion, you may play one level 5 or lower Digimon card with Numamon or Monzemon in its name from your hand without paying the cost. I mean, I like him. He works with the Monzemon, Shin Monzemon deck. That I built, I don't think I put him in there, but like it does work, and I do like it. He gets a pass, nothing crazy. And we got Mimi. Three play cost, unplay, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one Digimon card with vegetation, plant, or fairy in one of its traits among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck. Your turn. When an effect suspends a Digimon, suspend this tame by suspending this tamer. Gain one memory. Security, play this card without paying the cost. 
It's another mid tamer, nothing crazy. And here we're at the final set. We got two packs left. They're Exceed Apocalypse. Uh, we've got eight special cards, three secret rares in this one, so I'm sorry I don't point that out in all of them. I kind of meant to, and then we just get caught up by getting some good pulls or something like that, and I forget. So I do apologize. We got Logar Amon. Five play costs, three DG Blue costs, 5,000 DP. Uh, can digivolve from purple or red. It is dual color purple red. Um, digivolve from a level three with SOC in its traits for a cost of two. When digivolving or when attacking by trashing one card in your hand, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP for the turn. If a tamer card with the SOC trait is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, draw one card. Inherited effect, end of attack, once per turn. If your opponent has one or more memory, gain one memory. Interesting. Kind of cool. Lady Devamon. Another one of my favorites. Now she's got Retaliation and Inherited, which I do like. Babamon. Gizamon. Celestial Arrow. Publimon, 6 play cost, 2 digivolution cost, 5,000 DP. Security, at the end of the battle, play this card without paying the cost. End of attack, place this Digimon on top of your security stack. Yeah. So this one just keeps going in and out. Like, end of attack, like, as long as it survives attacking, it goes to the security stack. And then, at the end of the battle of security, it goes back into play. That's pretty interesting i like that uh no inherited effect so really you just want this one to be pulled out and then you could just start messing with it i would play this one in uh, a deck where you can put cards into the security which yellow can do we got tapermon gessomon another one of my favorites jellymon three play costs zero to blue costs one thousand to beat DP. Start of your main phase. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, draw one. Inherited effect. When attacking, if you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, draw one card. Mist Barrier. Supreme Connection. Three play cost. Main. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Among them, add one card with the machine or cyborg trait to the hand and trash one such card. Return the rest to the top or up to the top of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. Main delay. You may play one level five or higher Digimon card with the machine or cyborg trait from your hand with a play cost reduced by three. Security. Reveal the top five cards of your deck. Among them, add one card with machine or cyborg trait to the hand and trash one such card. Return the rest to the top of the deck. Then place this card in the battle area. So the one thing that I'm questioning about this is that you get to add one of them to the hand. You have to trash one. What if you can't trash it? Like, what if, hypothetically, you pull one Digimon with Machine or Cyborg and then four Tamer cards? Um, I guess you wouldn't do the second. I don't believe this is like a Yu-Gi-Oh thing where, like, if you can't do the entire thing then you can't activate it because you wouldn't know to activate it until after you've done it so personally i think that you would be able to do it you would just get lucky and place those four tamer cards on the bottom and we got mega kabuterimon ace four play costs three digivolution costs seven thousand dp and counter blast digivolution on player when digivolving one of your digimon gets Plus 3,000 DP for the turn. Uh, or until the end of your opponent's turn. Then if one of their Digimon is attacking. You may switch the target of the attack to this Digimon. All turns while this Digimon is suspended. It isn't affected by the effects of your opponent's Digimon. Uh, Ace overflow minus 3. No inherited effect. He's alright. Nothing crazy. But eh. 
He's a super rare, so that's nice. But yeah, as I was saying, like one of the other cards that uh, we pulled from the previous video, like I went through my collection, and I'm like, uh, this one looks different than the one we pulled. Turns out the one we pulled way back when is the more expensive version. And I should have made a bigger deal out of it, but I didn't know at the time. But, woof, that's pretty neat. Uh, we got Logamon. Colamon. Togemon X Antibody. Foxfire. Muchomon. Kyukimon, which we've pulled a bunch of him. Uh, not going to go over him, even though he's shiny. Betamon. Sunomon, uh, inherited effect, your turn once per turn. When one of your Digimon effects adds cards to the hand, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 DP until the end of your opponent's turn. Eh. I mean, blue does it, but I think there could be better eggs. Mega Seedramon. Or you Monzemon. Uh, Hisyaryumon. 7 play cost, 4 digivolution cost, 7,000 DP. Can digivolve from green or black. Is dual color black green. Digivolve from level 4 with X antibody or digiplease trait for a cost of 3. Has the blocker ability. All turns when an effect suspends another Digimon or tamer. If a tamer card with the digiplease trait is in this Digimon's digivolution cards, this Digimon may digivolve into a Digimon card with the beast dragon or digiplease trait in your hand without paying the cost. Inherited effect. All turns, once per turn. When an effect suspends another Digimon or Tamer, unsuspend one of your Digimon with a Beast Dragon or Digipolice trait. This one does a lot, but it's really for that uh, archetype. And finally we got... Uh, Oryamon. 12 play costs, 4 Digipolice costs, 12,000 DP. Can Digivolve from green or black? Is dual color black green? Digivolve from level 5 with XA Antibody or Digipolice trait for a cost of 4. Has Blocker when Digivolving. If a Tamer card with the Digipolice trait is in this Digimon's Digivolution cards, return one of your opponent's suspended Digimon or Tamers to the bottom of the deck. All turns, once per turn, when this Digimon becomes suspended, you may play one Digimon card with the Beast Dragon or Digipolice trait and 5,000 DP or less from your hand without paying the cost. Again, going to be for that archetype, not too much else. With that, we've gone through all the cards. Give me a moment. We'll do like we always do with boxes, and we'll pull out the super rares, the secret rares, and the alternate arts, and we'll take a look at those. So we shall be right back. And we're back, and I got our stack here. And you know what? Strangely enough, we pulled better than a normal box i was very much worried that we were going to get these packs and because they were all from different boxes and different sets that we were going to get like worse pulls but funny enough we pulled just slightly better i think than a normal box would so starting off we're going from beginning sets uh four all the way to 15 we didn't pull anything in four we did pull uh Rafilismon uh, from BT5 and Omnimon from BT5. Uh, and this is the alt art. So that is alt art number one that we pulled. Uh, from BT7, we pulled Iban Wumon and Cherubimon. Then from BT10, we pulled the alternate art Sistermon Cell. So that's two alternate arts that we have pulled. From BT12, we pulled Beelzemon X Antibody. And uh, from BT13, we pulled Rosemon Burst Mode Alternate Arch. Uh, the other one that we pulled way back when was a green variant, which right now, as of shooting, is going for like 100, which is crazy to me. I did not realize that I had such a worthwhile card in my collection. Weird. Uh... And we got the BT-13 Alternate Art Gallant Mon Secret Rare. So that would be our Secret Rare for the box. And it turned out to be an Alternate Art. And again, that was the third. This is the fourth Alternate Art. And finally, from BT-15, we got Mega Kabuterimon. 
So all in all, uh, Mega Kabu Tournament Ace. So all in all, we got nine, which is roughly what we should get. Like nine, maybe ten on a good box. But the fact that we pulled four alternate arts. We pulled the Omnimon. We pulled the Sistermon Cell. We pulled the Rosemon Burst Mode. And we pulled the Gallantmon. Like we pulled four alternate arts. That's what makes this slightly better than the average box to me. But hey, let me know. What do you guys think of this travel through time looking all, at all these different sets? Do you think that we did good? Or do you think that we uh, didn't do so well? Leave it in a comment down below. I would love to hear it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a good old thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you haven't, please do subscribe. I really do appreciate it. It helps the channel grow. We upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And as always, until then, I will see you next time.